the spate of kidnappings, banditry, and criminality in our state are increasing at a very alarming rate. The bandits are getting bolder by the day, inching closer and moving from rural communities even to urban communities. The city of Zaria was attacked last week and two housewives abducted in the peripheries of Zaria city. Our schools are being attacked and the students being executed by these bandits. In Greenfield University, we've lost five students that were killed in cold blood by these evil people. We still have 29 students of Federal College of Mechanization, Africa, in custody. We thought we should use this opportunity to convene a security council, not only to receive the first quarter report of the Ministry of Internal Security and Home Affairs on security incidences in the state, but also to brief all of you on what we are doing to make our schools, schools more secure and other government facilities because we've had an incident in which a rural hospital was attacked and two nurses have been abducted and they still remain in custody. So even health facilities are also at risk. So we thought we should meet to brief everyone and also brainstorm of what more can be done to make our state safer. Now I know the mood in the state and in the country is the one of despondency and increasing de deterioration of confidence in the security services. But I want to appeal to our citizens to understand that the armed forces are the only armed forces we have. The police are the only police we have. With all their deficiencies, we don't have an alternative but to continue to encourage them, to provide more resources for them, and to pray for them because they are putting their lives at risk so that we can all sleep with at least one eye closed. Our military, police, and other security agencies need a lot of resources, human and material, to be able to discharge their constitutional responsibilities. We have to ask ourselves as a nation whether we are providing enough of those resources before we turn around to complain about the situation that we are. This state of affairs in the military, the police, and other security agencies has been building up for a long time. It did not start today. It has just reached a critical point now with groups of terrorists, insurgents, and bandits challenging the authority of the Nigerian state. Your Royal Highnesses, ladies and gentlemen, this is a time for unity. It is the time for all good citizens of Nigeria to unite, support, and pray for our security agencies to get our nation out of these dire straits. It is no time for politicization, tribalization, or ethnicization of this situation. Our country is facing serious challenges, but we've faced challenges before. And by the grace of God, if we all come together, work together, collaborate together, and pray for God's guidance, we'll get out of this.